Hey guys, the MC Airplane here, and welcome to another flight simulator video. And in today's video, I'll show you how to hook up, all, hook up all the flight simulator setup settings which you need. Now, for today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the SciTech flight uh, yoke system, um, also with the throttle quadrant, and also the um, Thrustmaster pedals. Now, they are two different companies, but they still do work the same. Now, I'm trying to get it going into the tutorial, you'll see um, that you can um, put these on with clamps. So put this on with clamps here. And um, this for the main yoke, I didn't need clamps. This is a clamp for the main yoke. You just slide it in right here and uh, you just put it in. And there's a um, suction cup here so you can hold it in place, screw it on and off as you like as your preference. But this main tutorial is going to be how to do the settings and such. But sh really quickly showing you, there is a wire um, coming from the left side of the um, rudder. It's going up and it goes to the USB port which is on the back of the um, yoke. So here is the USB port. Um, it comes with um, three USB ports on it. That's because this takes up one USB port to go into your computer. The second USB port right here is for my mouse. Now, um, you'll see that um, the um, yep, uh, the rudder has two settings. It has flight mode and it has car mode, driving mode. Switch this to uh, flight mode and it'll have a green light. Car mode will have a red light. So this goes into this USB. This is for the rudder. The also the next one is not USB. This one's a circular port which you just plug in here, and goes down and goes to the throttle quadrant. This is also from SciTech, and this is for the throttle. This is for the mixture, and this is for the flaps. Now, if you do like flying jets a lot and not Cessna planes, this would be for the throttle. This would be for the spoilers, and this would be the flaps. And these buttons is, if you like flying Cessna planes and jet planes, you can press this button, and this can change to um, back to mixture. If you press a button again, it will go back to flaps. You know if everything's hooked up, if this has a green light, this has a green light, and your yoke um, little panel here is on. Now, we put this back in our cabinet here. Um, we just plug in the USB port face up where this USB logo is um, there. Plug it in and you'll hear a sound on your computer saying da 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 da. Depends on what computer you have. Now, you can go to settings to start configuring the um, um, how to do the um, controls and such. This is Flight Simulator X. Go to control axes, so we're going to start off with the axes, and go to, um, you'll see, um, these are two of the um, default ones, the mouse ones. You see the T rudder, the Thrustmaster rudder is um, plugged in successfully, and the SciTech flight yoke. Success, um, put in the SciTech flight yoke, and you'll have um, all this stuff here. So, the um, ailerons, you're going to select this, press change assignment. Do not check um, do action when key is released because this is for key. Key on your keyboard, not key on this because this has no keys on it. Yeah, you might believe so what? It means like button or stuff, but this game does not use common sense just like the Tower 3D Pro. So, I don't know why it does this. The developers have probably had concussion and they um, did this in their program files not knowing it was there, but... First of all, um, we aren't going to do the rudder, <laughs> sorry, we're going to do the um, x-axis, so this is, um, we're going to do the um, elevators now. Elevators um, need to be x-axis because they're the things which um, turn the aircraft. So what you're going to do is turn your um, SciTech flight um, system this way um, to left and right, and you'll see that the x-axis automatically goes on there without pressing the do action when key is released. If you press that, nothing will come up. Press OK, and you'll see that X axis is there. 
Now, I already had X access there because I already had this configured. You guys will not have any of this X axis, Y axis stuff until you um, did what I did. Now, that was ailerons. So, sorry, ailerons are left and right. So, ailerons, put that to left axis. Ailerons are left um, X axis. That means you turn with the ailerons. Change assignment for elevators. Do not press do action when the queue is released. And go up and down. Up and down. And you'll see the Y axis comes for the elevators. So remember, ailerons are X axis and elevators are Y axis. So let's see if that can, um, there we go. So, now, remember, put flight uh, mode normal, not slew, or else everything will be in reverse. Now you could put this in reverse if you want, so you have the reverse option, but I'm not going to do that because I want to be as real as possible. Now, for flaps axis, to change your flaps, do not press do action when key is released. I actually like this so blue one being your flaps. So, um, but if um, you want mixture, do that one. But um, I'm going to put this, say, so if you want flaps on the red one, do exactly, exactly as I do, but on the red one. Put this all the way up here. Do not do anything with these uh, axes yet. Go all the way down, even in the reverse. Go back to where its normal position is. And you'll see it has X rotation. Okay. Mixture, if you have a Cessna, would be the exact same thing. So, if um, you wanted mixture instead of flaps, put this all the way up, all the way down. Now, for spoilers, I like this red one being spoilers. So, I'm going to go to spoiler axis, change assignment, and I am going to put this all the way up. And all the way down. Back to normal. Now these are my preferences. Um, you can put um, this one to flaps, this one to mixture, and this one to throttle if you want. You'll see it says Y rotation. There you go. Sorry for the background noise. Gosh, why don't Samsung Galaxy S7's focus? Let's see how long this takes to focus. Yeah, you know, this is going to take forever to focus. Anyway, Samsung Galaxy S7s cannot focus. That is the um, answer. Now, to um, <laughs> to the... Um, so we got to suppose. Now we just go to throttle axis. Change assignment. Do that. And it'll go to Z axis. So, press um, OK. Remember, never press do, never check on do action when keys release. That is the most common mistake. Now we're all done with the um, SciTech flight yoke for the axes. We still have some more to do for the other commands. So you're going to want to press OK. Now all the SciTech flight yoke commands are done. Go to controls again. Go to control axes. Now select um, T rudder right here. Sorry if it's not focusing, it's just that. Um, this will not focus. Now we'll focus. Oh, I just had it on an anti-focus mode. I didn't know that existed. Anti-focus mode? Have you ever heard that existed? There's an AF. There was an actually it said AF might have meant anti-focus. I never knew there was anti-focus mode. Look how well that focuses now. Still pretty bad, but <laughs> anyway, back to rudder. We go to brakes, left axis, so this is for the brakes. Do not press do action when it's key released. Please do not do that. The creators are dumb. Even though they created this game, they're smart for that. They are dumb in some common sense ways. Press that down. You have Y axis. So let's hope this, oh, anti-focus mode again, come on. All right, I think this is an auto anti-focus mode. So Y axis for the um, left brakes. Go to um, brakes, right axis. Do the same thing right here. Push down, and it'll do X axis. Press OK. And now go scroll down to rudder axis. Change assignment. 
and pretend you're turning on the rudder. Do that, and now we have the Z axis up. Remember, never check new action when the key is released. Press OK. Now we got the rudder down. Just press OK, and now we are done with the axes. So now you got all the throttle stuff. So you basically got the basic controls done. Got the basic basic controls done. So that means you can technically fly a plane now with the basic controls. You can technically use the rudder now. Now for the more um into controls things. Anti-focus mode is up again. Uh, controls. Now to buttons and keys, not control axes. Do not use um, T rudder anymore. T rudder is only used for axes, nothing else. Go to SciTech Pro Flight Yoke. Let me show you all the buttons which we're gonna use. This one is automatic, which I believe. So this one to look around is automatic. If it isn't, I'll show you how to do it anyway. You have A1, you got A2, get B1, got B2. Got the odd. This one I use for autopilot. This one is um, C1 and C2. Yeah, function here, which I can just teach you right now. So, function two is going to be um, a um, normal time, what your time is. Um, function. So, that was function mode one. Function mode two is the stopwatch. So, if I start, start the stopwatch, you'll see. Um, that starts going. If I stop it, I stop. Can reset the stopwatch and I can start again. Go to function. Um, so you have both functions and they all work good. Now, you'll see this has both mode two. You have mode one, mode two, mode three, and those are the only modes you have. They don't do anything actually. They're just to make it look cool, I believe. Um, you won't actually need to do any of this, um, this, that's what, this is what you use to change the other's little scroll thing right here to, um, do this stuff, but they don't actually do anything, they're just there because they're there. Trust me, none of, none of the people use them. Now on the back here is another thing right here, this one I like to use for, um, parking brake, so this one I like to use for parking brake, that key is E. So, we identified all the keys, we're done with this. So now, we go to, um, let's see, um, uh, which, what do you want to do? Let's do, um, ATC window. Display or hide. So if you want to see the ATC window, press not new assignment, but change assignment. Do not check do action when it's key released. Let's say, um, put C2 is going to be on the, um, key. Put C2, and you'll see button 08. Okay, so that means every single time we do this, it will put on or off the, um, ATC window. Now, if we go over here, so we have ailerons, we already have all that good... Not every single thing needs a key. Um, autopilot. Let's see. Autopilot. So, um, oh, do we have parking brake? Okay, so. Autopilot. Is there an autopilot master? Let's see. Autopilot. Master, master, master. Auto rudder. This is auto rudder. This is autopilot, 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 autopilot. Hmm. Oh, autopilot master. Here it is, autopilot master. Change assignment. Let this be autopilot master. So let's, um, sorry about my finger there. Let's press this button. And we'll see button 02. There we go. Press OK. And we got autopilot master done. Now, um, let's go on. We have auto throttle, auto throttle. We don't need auto throttle. Um, brakes, um, brakes set parking. This is parking brake. Let's change the summit. Never press new assignment. They always get this wrong. If you want new assignment, it's going to get a new assignment for the keys. You always got to do change assignment to do an assignment for the controls. So, um, what was this for? This is for parking brakes. So for parking brakes, 
I'm just going to do um, A1. So I'm going to put this up, and you'll see button 03. Press OK. And we got our parking brakes uh, done. Now, let's go some more stuff here. Um, smoking on and off, you can do that if you want. De-ice, not so important. Um, you do have end flight, so if you want a button for end flight, you could do a button like, um, I guess, the spread one in the back if you want to end flight. But um, let's see if we have any other ones here. So I flaps. We already have the access for that. Fuel dump. If you do want a fuel dump command, you can do that if you want. Um, do they have gear? GPS. Um, governor holding. They have hydraulic, they have joystick on or off. Landing gear. Extender um, retract. That's now set to G. Change assignment, not new assignment. Do not check this box. Let's do B1 for this. So um, let's go ahead, put this up. And we have button 05 there. Press OK, and we do have the landing gear command done now. So every single time we want to land or take off, we just press this button up here. Landing lights, you can do lights if you want. Um, looking. Now, views. We can get that to later. We have master, mouse, noon pad, dab radio. Not important. Panel lights. This is all pause. If you do want a pause button, you can do that. Pressurization, propeller. This is a lot of commands, so you do not need a button. It's impossible to have a button for every single command, just saying. Spoilers. We already have that done. Where lights throttle, we already have the access for that. View. Now this is a views thing. So view. Um, all right. So view right here. This S one. This is to view the next category. So if you want, if you're in the cockpit and you want outside view, change category. Do not check that box. Let's say if I want. Um, Let's say I want, um, hmm, let's say I want B2 to be on um, that, um, now let's say I want this key in the back to be that. I press it, and we have button 1. So, okay. And now we have the change view button right there. Now we can keep on going. Um, our pilot, and then that is most it. So now let's just review. All we have is pushback now. So we go to P. Um, let's see. Um, push. P U P U P P P. Pushback. Wait, I just saw. It. There we go. Pushback. Start stuff. So right now, shift P. Change assignment, not new assignment. Do not check that. And let's do A two. Let's put that down, button 04, we can do OK, and this is what I do, this is when I fly, these are all the buttons which you do, every single one of them. OK, and you are ready to fly, go to free flight, um, select, um, select your plane, and fly, because this is now we're going to fully completed, um, this is a fully completed setup here, and all the... Everything is done. I showed you every single step, and you should be a okay. If you do want a X plane 11 or X plane 10 setup, just pay me how, um, 60 bucks. How much it costs to do X plane 11? Then I'll gladly do it for you. But uh, for now, uh, thank all of you guys for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye.